La le lu le lo, let's go and straight in to St. Francis Folly. So yeah, last time we left off, we left Peru and finished that chapter in the Tomb of Polypec. And I'm going to have to deal with these lions immediately because they can cause <clears throat> a bit of upset. And then I will continue on my train of thought, right? Lara taking out poor defenseless lions. So yes, the last time we finished Peru, and we are now moving on to the Greece chapter in the game. And St. Francis Folly, I think, is one of my favorite levels in the game. But also, the whole of the Greece chapter, I just think, is absolutely class. I, I don't know why it is that I like it so much. I think it's largely to do with the variety of levels. As we'll see, St. Francis Folly just kind of really opens up. Let's have a quick look around. Oh yeah, they've added a... They've added an open ceiling here. That's quite similar to uh, the Pantheon in Rome, if you've ever seen that building. Super cool. That's awesome. That's a great change. Makes a lot of sense as well that this that it would be in a kind of a church slash temple as this. But yeah, the Greece levels, I don't know what it is about them. They just... They're very strong. I think they're very strong overall in terms of they're all unique and they all kind of have their own thematic thing going on but uh we will get into that when we get into it so first i'm going to head over to this room rather than the door i just opened and the reason is is because i have seen that there is a secret here and i don't think i've ever actually went up here to get this secret in any of my previous playthroughs and uh, it looks like it's kind of hard to get as well just because it kind of requires an interesting jump so we're in this kind of room and as you can see there's a open ceiling up there and a slope and I have to kind of jump up there and I don't know if I'm <clears throat> I don't know if I'm good enough with a controller to do this but however I can try there we are first go wow I can tell you I definitely am not good enough with a controller to do that regularly that was complete luck there for me so I suppose I'll probably do a backflip, forward flip, and a backflip, and nope, Lara won't get up that way, so I'll have to do it the other way around. There we are. Lovely stuff. And here's the first secret. Ah, oh, what a sound. <clears throat> what I like about the secret sound as well is that that kind of stays throughout all the games. Does it change, actually, now that I think about it, in... The fourth, in the fourth game in the series, do they change? Because the engine slightly changes in The Last Revelation and Chronicles. It's a great way to start the episode. Lovely stuff. And this time I'm going to descend without breaking Lara's lovely neck. <laughs> like, for fuck's sake. Anyway, um, yeah, so as I was saying before, Lara's broken neck so rudely interrupted me. Uh, yeah, I wonder, I can't quite remember off the top of my head whether Last Revelations and Chronicles actually has a secret sound or not. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to check that out soon enough, maybe on Google, just to make it sure, but yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, as I was saying about these particular levels, I just really like the aesthetic of them, first and foremost, and then as well, these levels just kind of have... A lot of variety and a lot of like thematic things going on and puzzles like these puzzles in these levels seem to be the most puzzling <laughs> if that makes any sense <laughs> right i think i get attacked by yes gorillas there they are for the first time seeing the gorillas <laughs> brilliant <laughs> There we go. And isn't it so true? You just always think, like, how are they surviving? Like, how the hell are those guys surviving inside here? Like, all this time. Another one. Another gorilla. <clears throat> okay, another switch to pull. Find a like in point and click games take anything that isn't uh you know nailed down 
like pick up every single item you see in Tomb Raider, it's every switch you see, just pull it. Pull the switch. If you see a switch, pull it. <laughs> At least Lara's not as much of a kleptomaniac as somebody like, uh, I don't know, Guybrush Threepwood or any of the rest of... Oh, here he is, here's Pierre. Oh my god, it's Pierre. Look at him. Richard Hammond. <laughs> That's the joke. Oh god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Richard Hammond is gonna kill me. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, I've heard, yeah. <clears throat> I've heard online that, see the back of his jacket, they've actually made it less naughty in this version. I think she is a topless lady in the original, and they've drawn in a bra on her. A bra and underwear. So they've made Lady Luck on the back of Pierre. Look at Pierre. Pierre's, Pierre is, he's looking quite handsome. Pierre, by the way, ladies and gents, is actually a French gentleman. Oh, I didn't even notice until now. He, like, he has the magnums, and they have an N. I presume that N is for Natla. You can also see through a part of... Oh, that's badly textured or something, is it? Um, yeah, so they've changed, apparently, that uh, naughty um, pin-up girl that used to be on the back of his jacket. They've added that little bra, which is kind of sad. Like, why not have a bit of, you know, a bit of sexiness? Nothing wrong with naked girl. Oh, Pierre has disappeared. And just like that, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone like the wind. Okay, yeah, there we go. There's our first uh, little encounter there with Pierre. And uh, he will be turning up again later on. Pierre, bye, you big... <laughs> with your big French head on you. That's hilarious. I like the way that Pierre as well turns up later in uh, Tomb Raider Chronicles. With Larson, actually. Oh, that's a spoiler, but like, it's not really because Chronicles is stories from Lara's life. And it takes place, that level, I think, takes place before this game. The level in Rome. Funnily enough, yeah, Rome and Greece. Like, so what opened there? Is that door up there? Okay. Cool. QL. Okay. There is also another secret, I think, on the, on one of these, um, platforms over here, so... I'm going to go get that secret now. Okay, will I make that jump? Oh, just about. That is the secret. I think. Is it? Maybe not. I thought that was the other secret. Okay, well, <laughs> fair enough. Can I get up on that roof over there? I don't think there's any reason as to why I should go on that roof, but I want to try. <clears throat> Why Why are you jumping like that, Lara? Yeah, there you go. Hopefully. Completely pointless, but... You get a better view of the whole room. Pierre. Good old Pierre. Pierre, you litter bug. Okay. Alright, let's head away now to this open door down here and continue along the grease levels. Yeah, just really looking forward to all these four levels and they get, they get super interesting just with all the little unique things that happen. And as we can see now when we go through into this room, things are going to really change up here quite soon. Now, do I have to be... I have to be quite careful here in this, because if I'm not mistaken, yeah. There is a secret down here, so I'm going to save the game in case I mess this up. Save game. St. Francis Folly. Yes. Yes, this is what I want to do over that. No, I'll save it in a new save. Save it in a new save, just for safety's sake. Now, I'm going to come down backwards off this, and Lara is going to look extra cool. I'm ready to grab the edge of this platform, like that, right. And am I right in thinking? Yeah, so what I want to do is I want to pull myself up, let her drop, and then do a jump immediately. And Lara just looks like an absolute queen doing that. <laughs> Class. <laughs> That's amazing. Go on, Lara girl, you legend. Lara the legend. Lara, you decent. You decent, pure Lara. Alright. 
Okay, that's the second secret. Again, I don't, I can't remember whether I've ever got whether uh, whether I've ever gotten that one. I could drop down there, but immediately, I, oh, I'm glad I turned around. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm glad I turned around to check that out, because I would have missed that item if. Well, I wouldn't have, because I was I had to come back this way. So one of the other secrets then is down here. So let let us take it out and get our first look as well at. Yes, you you saw it correctly, An alligator. Yeah, so there's another completely weirdly hidden secret that I've never seen. But why have they done that in this in this version? So it's an open, standard open entrance when you're swimming normally in, in the old style. And they've added this weird painting to the wall to obscure it even further in the HD edition. That's very strange. A double-sided painting, like... The water seems like it's kind of pushing me a little as well. There's the alligator. Do I want to die by the alligator? I think I can die by the alligator, actually. Let's see what the death is like with the alligator. Can you die, like, specially by the, the alligator? Does he do, like, a twisty, turny... I think he does, right? <laughs> Not in this case. Right. <laughs> Great. So here we are back in this room again, thank god. Lots of deaths, as I said. So this secret, which I'm going to do here, is actually um, a bit, tiny bit, of a timing-based secret. So I'm going to get that done first once I kill these bats. And then I will deal with the actual room for real. So I'll pull this switch just so I don't have to come back up here to pull the switch either. And that, as you can see, opens the Thor room. And yeah, there's another Greek god. So I jump on this platform, which opens a door, and then I have to very quickly... ...jump down here, as quickly as I can anyway, given these tank controls. Like that. And then I do roll off. And then I'm going to do a run. I've never seen this secret because I w I've never done this. Oh, it's closed. Damn. So I didn't succeed. Damn. Damn. Right, here we go for it again. So let's try and do it a little quicker this time. If I can, without dying. Jump. Maybe can I come off that side without dying? No. <laughs> no, I can't. Okay, here we go again. So jump onto this pad, and then I suppose, can I do this? Is that, would that be better? Will I less die? I'll die as well. Okay, right. I, I, come on, Lara. You can do it. I believe in you. Dead again. Okay, right, and... <laughs> ah, Lara, you dozy bitch. Come on now, come on, come on, come on, come on, I can do it. Right. Yeah. Roll, roll. Run, run, run. I've changed the graphic settings, but ho so, however. There we are, there's the door. Don't close. <laughs> Jesus, they probably don't give you enough time with that at all. Right, health. So there is the secret room. That's a very hard one to get to. And as you can see, the door closes, like, immediately. Right, okay, so there is... I believe that's the last secret as well on this level. So that's a good thing. It's a good thing to finally have it done. Well done to me. And then this door just automatically opens. It does. So I've never seen that secret ever in any playthrough I've ever done of this game. That's super cool. So yeah, here we are. So we're in this really, really cool room. This is definitely one of my favorite levels in the game for this reason. So we, we've got kind of a tiered a tiered platform here. And then there's loads of doors, as I said, with the Greek gods' names. So we, I can see Thor just there off in the distance. It's probably easier to see actually there. And Neptune up the top. And I believe there's Atlas as well. And there's another one. I'm not, I can't quite remember all the, the names. But of course, we need to go into each of these rooms then and open... Or get a key from each of these rooms to open this particular door and as you can see there's four kind of locks on the wall oh yeah i haven't heard lara say no no <laughs> no brilliant oh yeah so the compass actually takes 
That actually tells you, yeah. Brilliant. Right, so I know that I have four out of four secrets now. I need to... I need to remember that in the future. That I can do that. Alright, so we're going to take on the Thor room. So let's make our way up to the Thor room. And see what's in there. And pick up some items on the way. I can see Magnum bullets over here. And a bat that is ready to drop down at any given moment. But he's going to wait for me, I presume, to... Yeah, typical bats. Well, he got what he was he deserved in the end. Batman. Good old Batman. Right. More lots of ways to go. Lots of lots of really tough looking platforming that I am not good enough to be doing at all. I'm going to be saving a lot in this level. I'm going to get up to those 86 saves. I think it's 86 saves for that uh, trophy. I'm going to get up to those 86, like, so quickly. Right, so the Neptune door is now open as well, which is lovely. So I like that, that, like, all of the Damocles is another one of the doors. Another one of the, the Greek gods. Damocles. Damocles. Very fancy name, Damocles, isn't it? Imagine naming your child one of the Greek gods. There definitely is people out there that have called their... Children after the Greek gods' names. 100%. Damocles. Damocles is quite a powerful name. Anyway. If you are called Damocles and you're watching this, let me know. Damocles. Okay. Jump. Grab. Pull yourself up, Lara. Pull yourself up, Lara. Pull up them socks. Pull up them socks, dear new girl. Alright. Here we are. We're at the tour room, so let us go into the tour room and just gonna have a quick look see am i missing any items that i can easily get while i'm here but i can always get them later so yeah we're gonna start seeing now why i really love this uh bit of a music cue what does that mean that means save the goddamn game so yeah let's see what happens first that's exactly what happens Cool. I really like the new uh, lightning. They they're doing they're doing the lightning more like the Tomb Raider Chronicles game. That's really cool. So yeah, um, I am I supposed to just run through this room or do I? I definitely shouldn't be standing on those pads. <laughs> yeah, so the, I I just think there's something about. This whole level that's very like Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade, you know? It's like... Th these are... The trials, nearly, of the Last Crusade at the end. The three trials that he needs to go through. And this is like... Lara's version of this. And, and there's... These are like puzzles, in a way, you know? So our... No. <laughs> There's another dead Lara. And it's just full of... These these levels are just full of variety, like. Variety that just is simply not in. Woo! Right, okay. I got through there that time, which is good. And, uh, yeah, we're now in another room that also has another unique thing about it. As you can see, there is an absolutely massive hammer. And obviously for anybody, certainly Marvel fans will know all about Thor's hammer, but... Is that Thor there on the wall? Ah, cool. So is that what it was always supposed to be? On the wall. It was actually a picture of Thor. There's, by the looks of it, Thor. Um, yeah, and any Marvel fans will obviously be aware of Thor's hammer. But so, I have to get the hammer to hit thing down there and just for shits and giggles just for shits and giggles i'm gonna get lara smushed by a hammer <laughs> poor lara yeah so there you go lara can actually get completely smushed by the hammer the whole idea is i do need um i do need this hammer to land on this so i need to stand on it just long enough Just like that. 
And that drops, as you can see, a stone block up there. And a stone block here. As you can see, I just think that... Straight away, like, to me, Peru pretty much has no puzzles. And definitely no puzzles like this. And then as you go on through the game, which we will, like, even the next chapter, which I won't spoil if you've never seen what the next chapter in the game and the and the final chapter of the game are. Um, neither of them have quite the same level of puzzle either, or just, like, feeling of adventuring that this, this whole chapter does. So I'm absolutely 100% a... Greek, Greece, Greek. I'm a Greek man. I'm a Greece stan, 100%. I think it's the best part of Tomb Raider 1. For sure. Right, lots of block pushing. Okay, finally, we get up here and get ourselves a medipack. Lovely stuff. Okay. That looks like a jump I can't make, but I think I can, and I'm going to do what I always do, and that is save early and save often. Come on, Lara. First go. Get fine jumps, like. Get fine jumps. Okay, and there we are. We have Tor's key. You know, I think, if I'm correct in thinking as well, the sprites for the key now are way smaller than they appear in the old game when they're in the world because they're 2D sprite in the original game right so I have Tor key lovely stuff thank you very much Monsieur Tor we are very thankful for your patronage as the god of thunder that's a death okay well we survived that and we got back down Ooh, but we died immediately again oh my god Okay, this time, I'm going to apply some health first. I think that that would be a better idea. I'm not 100% sure how this room works. Like, is it all of the tiles that have steel tiles on the top of the room are places where you can get hit? And all of the ones that don't have those steel tiles on the bottom? So let's try it. Let's test that theory. Nope. Do I just have to... Do I just have to tank the lightning going through this room? I think maybe you have, like, a grace period on the tiles that aren't metal. Anyway, right, we made it out of Thor's... Thor... Thor Thor's room. We have made it out of Thor's room. And let's move on. Now, how do I get up? Is what I need to do next is I need to get right up top. To the first door, which we saw. And there's a bit of climbing involved, but that's okay. More bats that need to be dealt with swiftly. Yeah, so that's the Atlas door over there. So Atlas, Damocles, Thor, and what was the first room again? I don't know why I'm blanking on it. It's the God of the Sea, Neptune. Ah, there's another, um, there's another health pack. I'll go get that. Why not? And I'll save before I do so. There we are. Lovely stuff. And I hear a bat. I hear a bat, but I don't see a bat, was what I was just about to say. Right, let us get up now to the Neptune door. Ah! More bats. I also just saw the flash of a life bar of our friend Pierre, but I don't see him. Where'd he disappear to? There he is, Pierre's having a run down there. I think I'll just leave. Our friend Richard Hammond on his own. I don't need anything to do with him. I hear another bat. Three bats. Three bats. Three bats. Three trees. Because here in Cork, Ireland, we don't say three, we say three. Look, he's just hanging out at the end, having a, a nice old time for himself. Let's have a zoom down and see what he's up to. <laughs> Does he have his hands behind his back? 
<laughs> Pierre looks like um, that Disney character out of Tangled, is it? Pierre is pure handsome looking in this game. Look at his original face in comparison to his new face. Uh huh, huh. he's so French. Pierre. Yeah, he's just casually hanging out with his pinstripe pants and leather waistcoat and leather jacket. Alright, Pierre. Come back for you later. Lara and her supervision. Right, we're into the Neptune room, which Anna, you can probably start to guess where this is going. Fishes on the wall. Cool. Again, the changes, they're all like really good changes. Always got to check around. Make sure that there's no extra items that I'm missing out on. Like, why is Thor here again? That kind of looks like a door, doesn't it? Strange. Okay, yeah, you can probably guess what Neptune is going to be, and it's going to be a lot of water. So, ergo, I will save yet again. Save early, save often. Right, okay. This is sucking me down into this place, by the way. So, I now have no way out. Other, to f other than to find whatever switches I need to find. So I need to do this with a lightning speed if I can at all. Alright, so there's a switch. Lovely stuff. I presume that opens the gate. Yeah, I just heard a gate open. Which is here. And then that's the key. Lovely stuff. So we now have the second of four keys. And hopefully that also will have correctly shut off the ability of that grate at the bottom to suck me down into this area. Cool. Come on, Lara, come on! Get out. Lovely. Ah, uh, there's a bit of AI upscaling going on there, I think. On those particular pieces. They don't really... They don't really look like anything. I wonder how, how much of the art has been AI upscaled and how much of it is just, like, hand-drawn. Because the, the little edges of that swimming pool there, they, it, that does not look like it was... Like, it looks like it was AI upscaled and not hand-touched up. Whereas the tiles that I'm currently stand on, standing on, rather, they look like they could have potentially been AI upscaled, but then touched up by hand to make them look better. Okay, and is that another open ceiling up there as well? It sure is. Uh, like, I love the open ceilings in this game, but that one... That one's not great. Right, will Pierre be out here waiting for me again? I should probably save. Always save. Always save. I'm going to become very careful as this playthrough progresses. Okay, so how do I get any of the rest of the doors open? Where is he? How is he shooting me? Pierre and his sniper magnums. Good old Pierre. What a lunatic. Right, I need to find the other switch for one of these doors, so I'm going to go have a look for that and uh, see if I meet up with Pierre on the way. Lovely stuff. I think I found another one of the switches just down there, so... Uh, whilst I'm being shot again by Pierre, I'm going to head down there and I'm going to hit that switch. We'll say ASAP. There we are. There we are. Lovely stuff. So this switch will open which door? Damocles, always. It's never on the same level as the door that you need to open. But if I do find the Damocles, or the Atlas door switch on the way down, it's probably on the next, the next one of these rows down. So, I do need to head down now to, at, to the Damocles door, which is the lowest. So maybe I'll take a little trip down to this next level here and see if I can find the other switch while I'm there. See, I don't see it on any of the walls. I've already been in the tour room. Right, I suppose I'm going to have to head away in to our friend Damocles and see what's in this special room. And I'm going to also, as always, absolutely save the game for safety's sake. So as you can see, we have two kind of cool rooms there, one related to water, one related to lightning and a hammer. So Damocles, so Damocles sword is a thing, so what do you think we might see in here? And uh, I'm going to do what I like to do and just show you what happens. 
Oh no, of course, it only happens on the way back. I'm not going to ruin the surprise if you haven't seen it or guessed what it's going to be yet. Right, so that opens this door. Again, another automatic door. I really don't think that the... Uh, I don't think modern audiences are going to find that too easy. Like, you think... At first, you think to yourself, Phew, that key was really easy to get. Like, didn't have to do anything to get it. So here we are, and I'm going to look at the difference between the old and new. That room's much more interesting in uh, original graphics. The lighting's really nice, actually. That's just kind of, it's way flatter in the new version. It's kind of got a vibe. I like that. Okay, and the, the key is 3D. I don't remember the keys being 3D. I remember them being 2D keys. Maybe not all keys are 3D. And of course, it's always worth climbing when you can climb to see what they've hidden. And they've hidden some more precious med pick, med picks, med packs, and uh, shotgun bullets. So pick them up, give them to me. I want them. I want some more shotgun bullets. Decent, absolutely clash. All right. So I will now yet again save. I've saved so many times already in this episode, but so what? And we will see exactly what happens. And as you can see, there are magnetic swords coming to a slice poor Lara down. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous with the size of them, to be honest. But uh, I think it's class. I love it. It's brilliant. I, I wanted to die, to be honest, just to show you. So yeah, there you go. There are actually... as you, ooh, Straight away died. As you can see, there are... 100% swords of all types. Falling from the sky to kill Lara. Which I think is hilarious. I think the way around this is to just walk and to walk slowly and kind of stop and to just take your time with the room. But you can actually see, you can see all the swords and they're just hanging in place. Yeah, and the swords don't look as cool in the original version and they're definitely way more noticeable, but yeah, they kind of just hang. They hang out there, and then when it comes time to fall, they fall. But it's just about taking your time with the room, allowing them to fall, take a few steps, and they never quite get you if you just take your time. More swords of Damocles, falling, falling, falling. Camera is acting a bit badly. So what? And there we are. There is Damocles' room. What did I get there? Let only one sword hurt you in Damocles' room. Cool. I didn't let any sword hurt me there. In that room. So what are they, what are they talking about? I didn't, I didn't get hit. I got hit before. Right, let's go down and take on our friend Pierre. And apparently, lions and my health is going down. Right, Pierre. Jesus, those magnums eat eat your health. They eat it. <sighs> I'll just keep running after him, but he disappears then. I love that. His health bar goes and he just disappears. Cool. I wonder is that uh, so he ran into that door. I wonder is that another way of actually finding the secret room is quite possible, actually. Anyway, and now we have Neptune's key, Damocles' key, and Thor's key. You know, I kind of actually wish they did a little more with the keys. Maybe, you know, put like a hammer on top of Thor's one or something, made the, one of the keys into a sword for Damocles, that kind of thing. Would have been kind of cool, but... Sure, look, you can't have everything back in 1996 when they didn't have that much in the way of 3D modeling. Okay. Uh, do I need to get across there? I don't think I'll even get across there if I try. Uh, got across there the last time, but yet again, I'm just going to save. This, this whole level will be about saving. Ooh. 
Brilliant. I made it across. Well, yeah, I used that switch. So where is the final switch? Where is the final switch? I want it. I want the final switch. Have a look around. Have a look around. Have a look around. Hmm. I'm gonna have to search for that switch. I think I just came up with a kind of like a slightly cheatery way to have a look around the level and I found the switch and it's right at the end. I'm, I'm surprised I missed it so easily, but I just started using this camera as a means to, to, to have a look around the level and I think that that's quite funny. It's actually like a... Uh, is it a cheatery kind of way? You know, if you're if you're missing something, just have a have a quick sconce around the level with the, <laughs> with the photo mode. Uh, that was a good idea. Right, let's get that switch. Okay, the switch has been switched, and let us make it all the way back up to the Atlas door. All right, Atlas, let's see what you got. Can't quite remember what the Atlas door is. Well, beginning with a lovely gorilla of course atlas is the god that holds the world upon his shoulders right oh i remember i remember now and it requires what i like to call it another saved game here we are now all right 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 oh my god lovely stuff and let's also pick up an item while well, I still have the time. Is there an item under that boulder that I'm after missing? No. It's a place for the boulder to stop. That's going to become my new thing now, just using the camera <laughs> in order to see where I'm going or what I'm doing. Okay. I don't know why I vaguely remember there being a second boulder, but thankfully not. So yeah, that obviously was the globe that Atlas is holding on his shoulders. And there we go, a pretty easy key for the last key, which is always nice. We found the key of Atlas. Ooh, and I'm gonna die, I'd say. Lost a small bit of health, thankfully I didn't die. Right, let us get down so to where I'm putting those keys in and open that door. Of course, there's another lion. Come on! Don't die. So close to the end. Use the health. Oh God. Come on. Yeah, Mr. Lion. Or Mrs. Lion. You didn't stand a chance. Not when there was a dangerous Lara around. Okay. So the Neptune key. One at a time. And we'll open all these lovely doors together. The Atlas key. In you go. Clickety-clackety-clue. The Damocles key. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Opening the door one key at a time. And finally, the Tor key. The Tor key, not the Tor key. The Tor key. Tor key. The Tor key? <laughs> okay. And there we are. I, I think that's the end of the level, actually. Choose. There we are. 19 out of 19 pickups, 4 out of 4, I spent 40 minutes in this level, and I travelled 3.7, 3 kilometers. Right, okay, well, I'm gonna leave it there, I think, and I'm gonna save the game straight away on this next level, which is... What's it called? Let's find... Oh, this is Colosseum. Is this Colosseum? You're in for treat next time, ladies and gents. Anyway, thank you very much for watching as always, and I'll see you again on the continuing adventures of the Lee Lee La La Lee Lee Lara Croft. Thank you very much. Goodbye.